Hi, welcome to our math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on probability. Okay, what is the probability of not having a girl if you have two kids? Well, as long as it's just two kids, let's look at the sample space. We could have girl, 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 boy, boy, girl, boy, boy. So there's four outcomes. What is the probability of not having a girl? Well, there's one event without having a girl that's having two boys. So the probability of not having a girl is one out of four. What's the, prob the probability of having at least one girl? Okay, so the probability of have a P of E is going to be defined as no girl. That's what we just did above. The complement of that is going to be at least one girl. Because an event and its complement, girl, an event and its complement have to equal the whole sample space. So if this is my event, this has to be the complement. So at least one girl has to be everything else in the sample space. The probability of our complement is one minus the probability of the event, which is one minus one fourth. So the probability of our complement is three fourths. Now you're saying, couldn't I have just counted it? Sure, you could. I just really wanted to kind of get this whole concept across. What is the probability of not flipping heads if you flip a fair coin three times? Well, the sample space, the number of elements in the sample space, if you're flipping a coin three times is two, two options for the first flip, two options for the second flip, two for the third. So there's a total of eight options. And not flipping heads is, there's only one event, tails, tails, tails. So you have the probability of this event is one outcome out of eight. So one out of eight. What is the probability the probability of flipping heads at least once. So again, we'll say P of E is going to be no heads. P of E complement um, is going to be heads at least once. So P of E complement is equal to one minus P of E. So it's gonna be one minus one eighth. So P of E complement heads at least once is seven eighths. And we didn't have to write out our whole sample space this time. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.